Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Teresa here with Bradley and the Critters, of course. Um, this is take two because I started doing my video and then I got kind of sidetracked. And, and I'm doing two videos today. This will be the first one, obviously. And then I'm doing another one called Dollars and Cents. And I think I'm going to do that every month, maybe a couple times a month. When I find really great deals or I find, you know, we can talk about different prices probably in the country on major websites and stuff if you do more of your um staple uh your staple food items i buy once a month so um we'll get into that on that video but this was yesterday was a very chaotic day was on a dead run felt like it from the minute i got i got up i am the type of kind of need to ease into the day nighttime i'm wide awake and just like bam let's do it Look at this. Huh. Anyway. Um, but daytime, I need to ease into it. So, you know, I have to get myself ready and everything. I had to pay bills. Uh, that took a little bit longer than normal because we had to put in the new debit card. So, you know, and then I got to do the verification. Got that taken care of. We had to run into town and we had to get prescriptions and, um, oh, yeah, and, and Brad needs to stop and get some more chew. Um, he buys the big canisters of, what, what is that? Chew Long, called? Longhorn. Longhorn, if, if your husband or maybe you or some of you know chews, it's a big tub. It equals how many cans? Twelve. It equals 12 cans, and it is, um, I'm not going to show it on here because I don't know if I can with YouTube's uh, terms of service, but... It equals 12 cans of chew, and you can get it, like, in a couple mints and just a no, fine cut, I think, natural. But anyway, it's only how much per canister? Uh, $17.99. $17.99. Now, what were we paying for that in Florida? A lot more. Um, yeah. What, with, it, 30 or something? With tax and everything, it was $29.99. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, and I mean, however you feel about that, it just your opinion and and i'll respect your opinion respect ours i'm not going to climb him on that he, he's not a drinker he doesn't do drugs yes he chews but you know i used to smoke like a chimney i used to so i'm not gonna and i don't want him to be without because you know i don't want to die i don't want him to die because you know you know how it is so but we'll leave him be on that. He's got enough going on. But anyway, I mean, I was just being honest about, yeah, yeah, we have to stop and get some of that. Um, you know, because I want to make sure he had everything he needs to be comfortable. I mean, um, we did that. We came home Fridays at Harris Teeter. And they have, I told you guys before about their sandwiches are so great. Um, but it's like half price day. Yeah. And so how much was each? The, they're three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. And I mean they pile on the meat and cheeses and stuff. So um yeah, we but we have more of those too, babe. Oh yeah, we got another sandwich. Yeah, that's what I'll have for lunch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Yeah, because this one's the ham and yeah. ham and uh yeah. American. I forgot about that. I did too. So we bought two of them because, you know, they were half price and we're busy right now. So, you know, that's much better than doing a fast food thing and much cheaper. I mean, you think about two foot long, we'll only eat a half one each. So, I mean, it does it each for, a whole sandwich does it each for two meals. So, um, but yeah, that's quite the price. So then, I, like I said, I ordered groceries, which I'm going to do a segment, like I said, dollars and cents. Um, we came home. We had a lot of stuff to do getting ready, um, but then we hadn't heard about the surgery, and it was getting later and later, and we're starting to both get very upset, because, you know, okay, Brad already went in yesterday for his COVID test, that was, he went in for that before I even got up, and, um, uh, you know, they did the brain tickle, but, uh, so he, he'd already done all the testing for the, but we hadn't heard about what time to be at the hospital. And um, finally, they called last night. How late was it, it was when she called? Right around six. Yeah, and and 
said yes, everything was a go. And because uh, it was still up in the air uh, a little bit, but everything was a go. And, and so he had to be at the hospital at 9.15. And he, his surgery is supposed to, without some delays and stuff, start at 11.30. So um, very excited, aren't you, honey? I am. This is the segment where you get to talk. It, I am so excited, you know, because it just, it's uh, it's tough some days because some some days, no matter how hard you try, that the pain overshadows overshadows your, your thinking. And Teresa does not deserve, no, it does not deserve having to put up with me with that kind of, been, it's been hard. I mean, it's been hard. Those of you that have chronic pain and those of you that are married to somebody that has chronic pain. I mean, I have I have what I consider pain, but I don't. Sometimes, like right now, it doesn't hurt because I'm not moving them, my arms at all. You know, so, I mean, it's not the same as his, his chronic pain. And I haven't been dealing with it for as long as he has. Uh, so, yeah, it's been, it's been difficult. It's been difficult. I'm not even going to lie. And, you know, the depression is, is pretty up there right now. And I'm, I'm working with it. I'm dealing with it. But it's pretty, it's pretty up there right now for a number of different reasons. I don't really want to go into all of that. You guys know my, my, my story was family. So, um, it'll all be okay. I have a tendency to freak out a little bit because he is the only person I have in the entire world that loves me. And it kills me the thought of them cutting into him. It does. It really does. And it's probably a good thing I won't be at the hospital because I have open wounds still on my legs and it's just not safe. Um, and I don't think I can do that great big long walk either with my lungs um but i probably would get upset because he would be hurting and they're getting him up and making him move which they have to do but you know i'm always so protective of you and so then you know I'm, i would probably be like leave him alone for a while and you know so um i know he's gonna be fine he knows he's gonna be fine but this is he never even admitted into the hospital. Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean and Heidi, can you give it a rest? I cannot figure out why she seems so itchy all the time. I gave her a bath last night with the anti-itching Birch Bee shampoo for dogs. And she got some relief, but she still, and she does not have fleas. I have given them flea treatments. And I've given them flea and tick preventative. She's with me all the time. I would know if she has any kind of creepy crawly. She does not. I brush her all the time and stuff. I just, so I don't know. I mean, and there's no patches of dry skin that I see. So I don't know what it is. Jelly yeah. bean. Jelly bean. Hello. Can you not eat yourself, girlfriend? Don't do huff at me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with her so yeah finally last night oh, and then he did the big woohoo and I had heard so I need to be at the hospital at 9.15 I hadn't heard about the surgery time but I was like okay good you know <laughs> so, guys we're just running through our head about maybe it's not going to happen because see when we walked in for that class Thursday morning we thought everything was a, a for sure go and then the one of the nurses said something about, I can't remember what she said. And then I turned to her and I said, so is there a possibility the surgery could not happen? And she said, yeah, there is a possibility. And I'm like, what? Yeah. I mean, we hadn't been, you know, privy to that before. So yeah. it's a it's a go. It's definitely a go. Yeah, and both of us were just kind of on pins and needles yesterday. Yes. You yes. know, me having to go in for the, the COVID test and, and everything. And, well, this is all foreign to you. you. We're used to me being the one that has all this mm -hmm. stuff done. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. And, but 
thankfully it is going to happen. And so we, we kind of have a lot of plans. Um, you know, then your head just kind of starts spinning. Because I want to give the front room a good cleaning today. I want to clean in my bedroom, my family room. I want to, um, you know, clean my bathroom and do the cat litter box. Brad's got to. What what time? Okay, let's, let's talk about schedules. Because what time were you going to do the bathroom, the, the safety room? Um, probably here right after we eat lunch. Okay. I'll go in and do yours first and then go do mine. Okay. I was just wondering because I wanted to clean and stuff. Um, but I can't, I shouldn't be in the bathroom cleaning if you're. Yeah. And then you're going to move some stuff out here. Yeah. I need to take the exercise. Yes. So I could, I could work out here while you're doing. Yeah. Because you've got to put safety rails in both bathrooms. One was installed in mine, and then part of it came out. Um, so he's going to redo it. And um, like I said, his uh, getting everything planned out on on what needs to happen. So I'm going to clean house today, and then um, we already had a grocery order come in last night from Food Lion. Um, and uh, that's always a killer when you're lifting the heavy stuff. Uh, but there's no way Brad can like stack the pop um, with his balance issue and stuff. Um, so I'm cleaning house today, and then tomorrow we're going to work on his bedding has to be absolutely a field of just super cleanliness. You know, fresh all all fresh linens and stuff once he takes a shower. It's like you should use a, a fresh towel. Honey, yeah. I don't need to. Oh, it's just, oh, I didn't know if you wanted to show them. Oh, man. Um, you know, so, and then, I think I already explained this, but he takes a shower and then he has to wait an hour and then he uses these wipes. And they come in a three pack and they even say on them, um, uh, this is the ready prep. And I don't see where it says what body part on here. Yeah, but it's got is there. Yeah, yeah, in the book. Okay, but there's three of them. You put these on, they have different a, a certain body parts and then um, you uh, let that dry. And then from that point on, you should be in as sterile of a field as possible. So, and so I'm going to groom him right before he goes to take a shower. I'm going to cut, cut his hair short for him. And, you know, trim up his goatee and all that and uh, check his fingernails. I'm going to do his his uh, feet, you know. So everything is, is, is looking nice. Everything is as clean as it can be, um, you know. Like that, I'll have to help him when it comes to the lower half of his body because they even want you like to make sure you get in between your fingers and toes. And, you know, they want everything to be. And then, you know, once you get to the hospital, they're going to have you repeat that whole yeah. process. Um, you know, uh, Carol said that, yeah, they were going to give you some happy juice that would take about three minutes to take effect before, before they even do the spinal or anything. And the nurse had said that too. Yeah. So you're going to go to La La Land, okay. you know, so, um, we're, we're excited. We're very excited, you know, because, oh, yeah. uh, it's just been a long, long range, you know. And hopefully that gives him a lot of relief. But everybody that I've talked to that's had the hip surgery, like Kathy and Carol and stuff, um, say that it's just, you know, that they were in so much pain before, and then they, they just are doing so much better now. I mean, you know. So he's going to rock it. I have, to, I have to keep reminding him not to go overboard when he's doing rehab because he has a tendency to... To push too hard where he could damage his brand new equipment in your hip, you know. So, yeah, just like you and the old Jeep, you know, and me were all having body parts that need to be <laughs> redone. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it was really stressful and <sighs> it's really hard because I'm so afraid of something. I know nothing's gonna happen to him, but then you're afraid that something will happen. And, you know, like I said, he's, he's the only person I have besides my friends, but none of you guys happen to live close to me, which is, I wish y'all did. Or maybe not, because we probably would get in a lot of trouble. 
<laughs> Kathy took Kathy listened to us talk about City Lake and going and watching the ducks and geese. And they have a pond on their property there at Stone City Farms. Mm -hmm. And um, so she takes her coffee and goes over there and sits and watches them. Cool. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nice and soothing. It just kind of, you know, it's just nice and soothing. And, you know, seeing those, I especially love it when you have the new hatchlings of the ducks and stuff. They're so darn cute. They're so teeny tiny to begin with. Like everything, and then you see all of them following the mom, and it's just so darn cute, mm -hmm. you know. And the turtles. The turtles. It's like see them sticking their little head out of the like water. You'll be watching. Like a periscope on a yes. submarine. But yeah, I did give Jelly Bean a, a bath. She was grunting big time while I was giving her a bath. Where yeah. Then I was toweling her dry, and she was just all over my bed and just being silly. But when we first got her, she would not let me even brush her. And now she's gotten really good about letting me brush her and stuff. But I'm always messing with the dog. So, you know, it, she w used to not let me touch her paws either. So I would do this game where I, I would kind of just lightly act like I was going to grab her paws. And I would just go paw, 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 paw. Well, pretty soon she gets relaxed enough. And so I can gently start touching her paws and do the same thing. And so I've done that enough that she's like, yeah, okay. Touch my paws. I don't care. Right, Jelly? Are you okay, Miss Jelly? Go see Dad. Come on. <laughs> Come on. But, yeah, so, uh, you guys can send warm, gooey thoughts about Brad when he's going to have surgery. I know he's going to rock it, you know. Um, so, I'm proud of how, how hard you work to get your A1C down and stuff, honey. Because, and and two, yes, he he says that I'm the one that got his toes to heal, um, and I know I had a part a big part on that. But you also were wearing shoes to protect that bend, which is not our favorite thing. Neither one of us like to wear shoes. I go around the house all the time barefoot, and I know being a diabetic, they don't like you to do that. But I can't help it. I cannot walk. I'm so used to walking barefoot all the time. I cannot really walk. You rarely see me even wear socks. But have you noticed one of the things I'll do is, you know why there's slippers stationed at different places in the house? I'll put the slippers on when I'm sitting to warm my feet up. But to walk around the house just drives me nuts. I feel like I can't, like I said, there's, there's great big rocks on my feet. And you're trying to walk clump, clump. <laughs> I haven't worn real shoes in uh, two years. Yeah. And Brad doesn't, Brad very rarely wears pants, which is a good thing. And we have all those pairs of shorts, though, because that's one of the things they want, of course, you to wear is is loose, comfortable shorts. So, mm -hmm. but you're going to do great. Yeah. Brad yeah. was worried if you can have enough to drink. You know, and I don't know, maybe you should just throw a few of those packets in. It's not like they're going to take up a lot of room. Yeah. Flavor packets for the water, because, you know, you do get tired of drinking the same thing. Yeah. And stuff. He will be pretty thirsty. You know. uh, yeah, I just, like I said, it's, it's been such a long time, and I hate, I hate feeling like I am so limited, you know, and uh, um, I want to, I want to get past that. I want to heal up. And when you get after me because I'm doing stuff I shouldn't be doing with my yeah. arms, but we, there's just the two of us and we have to do certain things. Mm -hmm. And most anything you do involves your arms, yeah. you know, and, and I'll get, it, it's not going it's still going numb, my hands and stuff, but not quite as bad wearing that inflatable cervical collar. And then I have a neck brace. When I'm super bad, I will sit and and uh, wear that for a while, too. So it, it helps take the pressure off and stuff. Um, so it'll all be a fine. Be a fine. Be a fine. I'd be a fine. I'm a no Italian. Huh? <laughs> so um, I want to end this vlog and I'm going to start another one because I wanted to do one the dollars and cents
because that's what I'm thinking a lot about right now. So, love you guys. I do cherish your friendship. So does Brad. And um, if you if you can, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share it with whoever so I can get my numbers up so maybe I can ever break a 1,000 and stay there. Would be great after nine years. I mean, I've broken it a few times, but I haven't been able to stay there. So, if you guys do that, it would be great. And I will talk to you in a minute. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.